you reach through the crown, imagine as if there's an apple under the chin. The more you reach through the crown, especially after an achy night, waking up in the morning, you'll really feel all the little muscles stretch. Again, inhaling halfway up, neutralizing out the spine, and exhale, fold forward. And inhale, reach out and up. Finding the feet beyond shoulder level or beyond shoulder width. And exhale, taking the hand to the shin. Do a gentle standing twist. Inhale to center. Exhale again, twisting, reaching that heart towards the sky. Inhale, tall spine. This time, exhale, just gently stay in the twist. Placing your hand on the shin, not torquing yourself into the twist, but just trying to keep the hands off the wet ground. Each inhale, lift that heart, each exhale, pull the navel to spine, deepening the twist just a little bit. Inhaling to center, and exhale, taking the twist on the opposite side. But for a gentler version, you can look down, you can just bend the elbow, taking the hand to your low back. Really spiral that heart towards the sky, emphasizing the twist in the torso. Inhaling to center. And exhale, releasing again into that forward fold, now with wide legs. Inhaling halfway up, just placing the hands on the thighs or on the shins. Exhale and fold. Again, inhaling tall. Exhale, neutralizing out the spine. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale and fold into the forward fold. You can stay in these forward folds as long as you like. Again, just listening to the body, allowing yourself to stretch. Just to even out the creakiness from the morning. Let's come into warrior pose. So bending the knee, make sure you can still see your toes. Inhale, bend that knee, lift your heart. Hands can just be in the pockets. It's still cold and still raining, mind you. And inhale, lift those hips and exhale, fold forward over a softened knee for an asymmetrical forward fold. Slowly coming out on an inhale, taking it on the opposite side, bend the knee, lift the heart on the inhale, make sure you can still see your toes over that knee, and just breathe in your warrior pose, even gently tucking the pelvis a little bit, tucking the tailbone so that you deepen the stretch on that inner hip. Inhale, lift those hips, and exhale, fold forward over the softened knee. Again, slowly on the inhale, coming out, even just wiggling out the legs. And then here, just to open up the quad, the front of the thigh, grab onto your pant leg, onto your calf, onto your ankle, and then just gently press the pelvis down, tucking the tailbone so that you feel a delicious stretch on that inner thigh or excuse me, that top of the thigh, the quadricep. You can hold onto a tree for balance. You can put your hand in your pocket or just place your hand out to the side as well. Again, nothing fancy, just waking up after a morning of camping in the rain. Just wiggling out the legs, even just taking some twists from side to side. And that the torso is nice and open. Inhale again, folding forward. The forward folds will neutralize out the spine. So you can just continue to do forward folds. And inhale, coming up onto the toes, just beginning to balance, squeeze the buttocks and the thighs. And exhale, lower the feet all the way down to the fold. Inhale, bringing your hands to your heart and namaste, welcoming yourself to nature and the beauty all around you. And just enjoying the lake. So coming over, I know I wanted to share the experience with you guys. The audio is really low, so I'm just going to continue narrating here. But this is where we ended up camping. 